Hello. So grateful to be here. Thank you. Yeah. I have found myself in a relationship, however that has come about, that I am satisfied with 99% of it. There's just 1% <laughs> around, and I'll just be honest, around the intimacy piece of it that's not there, but the companionship and the, the you know, the laughter and everything. The, it's, that intimacy is only 1%? Well... <laughs> It's the only thing missing. Pretty important. So I don't want to throw all of it away just because that one thing's missing, but uh, I do want that. Ah, uh, what you're talking about is what we've been talking about in a greater context. We've been talking about find a way to feel satisfaction, even if the money isn't there or the relationship isn't there or whatever. In other words, you got to find the feeling of satisfaction before you're in a place of letting in what you want to let in. And so a relationship is not any different than the universe at large, except that it's harder when a relationship means intimacy in so many ways. And so if that's on your mind and it's missing, then it's a big part of your vibration, the missing of it, not the having of it. And so you can't let it in. And if you're already in the relationship, it's difficult for you to think around that or to think about other things how much time do you spend together on a normal weekday do you each have places that you go during the day yeah both very independent you know well that's a good thing because when you're not there you don't expect intimacy anyway <laughs> right right so when you're not together you could think about a lot of other things even outside of the relationship or you could think about aspects within the relationship that you appreciate how you get the missing piece is by not focusing on the piece that's missing how you get the missing piece is by focusing on the pieces that aren't missing or how you get the missing specific piece is by focusing upon other aspects of your life that give you that same feeling of satisfaction so we talk about this all day every day in other words this is what we're talking about we're talking about the intimacy between you and your inner being we're talking about being so in sync with that source energy and so satisfied within that source energy that those other thoughts just don't have room in the thought patterns of a day you see what we're getting at for a while we've been offering a statement that says let's say there are ten things in your life that matter to you that are pretty important and nine of them are already in place this is sort of what you're saying but one isn't what most people do is they focus on the one missing thing and instead of getting it because you can't get something that you're focused upon in a lackful way what you end up doing is offering a vibration that makes the nine that we're going well not go so well <laughs> on the other hand there could be ten things that you want and only one of them going really well and the other nine a disaster by current standards and if you could focus upon the one aspect that satisfies you the other nine would shape up right away it's all about what you're focused upon so what this conversation is is do you have the ability to focus outside conditions can you be an unconditional lover can you focus outside the condition because if you can't then you can't move beyond then it can't get more except for this one fact not having what you want has put so much in your vortex Ooh, there is so much intimacy in here <laughs> <Really delicious. laughs> and your inner being knows the path of least resistance to lead you to it but you can't get there by saying it's not there because then you don't let yourself into the receptive mode and so no ideas flow no feelings flow Oh, co-creation is such a wonderful thing and co-creation is about influence so here's the thing when you have decided that something is missing would you have decided that you've cut down those trees you feel just as guilty as if you had cut down those trees so when you feel that intimacy is missing you feel as bad as if it were really missing or as if it were always going to be missing what action do you take? I mean, do you just like, you know, or is it going to just work? Itself? You don't take any action because it'll be the wrong one. Right. You'll come across needy 
or bossy or 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 rather than taking action you feel satisfaction in being in the receptive mode on that subject and every other subject that you can find and what begins to happen is ideas begin to occur to you we're so appreciating this conversation so we're just going to take a minute because this is big not just because of the subject of intimacy but because the subject of I'm not in a position where I'm getting what I want and I'm not in a position where I can even see how to get what I want and I still want what I want what should I do about it I need to do something about it in order to get there and the thing that we want you to hear is that when you feel like that every single thing you do will work against what you want it would be like let's say that you hadn't found a partner at all and you were still in that place where you're really looking for a partner so you decide that you're going to join an online dating service and so you enter your information and you do your best to describe yourself and you do your best to describe what you want as best you can and in the process of that we just want to ask what's the dominant vibration within you is it lonely is it needing is it absence of a relationship there are so many people want to get pregnant want to get pregnant want to get pregnant can't get pregnant can't get pregnant give up adopt a baby then get pregnant <laughs> and the reason that they get pregnant after they adopt a baby is because they don't have lack of baby going on in their vibration anymore and so this is a big question how do I feel the way I think I will feel when I get what I want before I get what I want how can I feel that way before I get it and we say by understanding that the process along the way can be as good as getting it and that's what we haven't convinced most of our human friends about you think you got to have the manifestation and then you'll respond in a positive way to the manifestation and we say you got to find a way of feeling the feeling and then the manifestation will come which means do everything in your power get off the subject change the subject think about as many other things so if there's anything that we have wanted to convince you of and we're going to offer a statement here and then we're going to test the vibrational waters and see how much progress we've made with all of you here today so is it possible to find a feeling of satisfaction without the manifestation that you want having already come into being Oh, is it possible to find the feeling of satisfaction, which is the receptive mode, which is the unfolding of something you want while you are focused upon the manifestation not having happened? Is it possible to find satisfaction about something that's already satisfying, even when other things might not be? is it necessary to focus upon the thing that's missing to get it no <laughs> but that's the mistake most people make they think i got to think about this thing that i don't have in order to get it we say no you got to think about things you do have you got to think about the connection you do have you got to think about all the things that do feel good in order to get the next piece and the next piece and the next piece ah you see what messes you up most of the time is that the now reality has too much of your attention and so if what is has some things that are missing and you're giving so much of your attention to what is then you just keep recreating the missing parts but if you're not all tied up in what is if you're willing to find some satisfaction from a vortex you can't even see if you're willing to find satisfaction from understanding the laws of the universe and getting to know them if you're willing to find satisfaction by focusing just for the feeling and then finding satisfaction from the feeling then there is nothing that is outside your ability to accomplish not one thing good enough yes thanks really good I knew this was gonna happen I raised my hand a couple of times like she's gonna call me she's gonna call me and then just now I said how am I gonna feel when she calls me and I said oh it's gonna be so exciting I'm gonna feel so exhilarated and then voila 
<laughs> she sounds like a plant in the audience, doesn't she? <laughs> Can't get timing like that. <laughs> Thank you. So I have two questions, okay? Back to the growing corn analogy. I think of it as growing my locks analogy. And I realize very easily that tomorrow I'm not going to wake up and my locks are going to be down my back. Right? <laughs> I realize that. I realize it's going... Not if things go well. <laughs> right. Right. But for some reason, with my desires, I will, you know, I'm over here with my mama and them, with my hand on the stove, right, with, on the hot stove, but I also see my expanded self over there, and she is the bomb, right? And I will go in that direction, but then tomorrow when I'm not there, I'll turn around and put my hand back on the hot stove. So your impatience is, as we just described it, you've just practiced being happy about manifestations. Yes. More than you've practiced about being happy about the process. That's why the word satisfaction or the experience of satisfaction is such an important one to ignite within you. Because when you start noticing that you can feel satisfaction even before those things that you want and need have happened, then you've got it because then they start happening more easily. It's like our friend who wants to know about worthiness wants to know how she can feel more worthy and we said to her something that sounds a little circular you have to let what you want happen so that you feel worthy and you all had to want to say for a minute wait a minute we want it to happen and we would make it happen if we knew what to do how do we celebrate the manifestation of something before it's manifested? And we say, celebrate the birth of it. Celebrate the gestation of it. Lots of pregnant women look forward to their baby. I just had a baby. He's five months old. But hear what we're getting at. That baby cannot come out and play today or tomorrow. But you're not every day waking up, what's wrong? My baby's not coming for nine more months, eight more months. Because you have some belief in that process, that gestation process you believe in, that thoughts turning to things. Do you know how you started? Have you ever seen one of you on a Petri dish, a little smear of a thing? That's gonna be me? I don't see toes or nose or gizzards <laughs> and yet you believe in that process and this is the same it's a gestation process so why can't you celebrate your pregnancies your pregnancies of all of the things that are in the process of becoming and you say but my lover of pregnancy has been nine years already <laughs> how long does it take for this baby to get going and we say well that's up to you that's up to how much satisfaction, how much dissatisfaction you accomplish. We thought your demonstration was good, putting your hand on the stove. And we think it's a good thing to acknowledge when you know that you're not doing what works and you know it not only because it isn't working or it hasn't worked, but because you don't feel good while you're doing it because it just does not feel good to put your hand on a hot stove. So we just want to ask a very blunt question. Why would you ever put your hand on a hot stove? Now we know that you were just being, but why would you put your hand on a hot stove? You wouldn't. So why'd you tell us that stupid story? <laughs> you wouldn't put your hand on a hot stove, but you're making a good point and we know what your point was. Well then why would you endure negative emotion? Cause I don't know better. You can't say that anymore. Cause I don't know better. You know better because I don't have choices. You can't say that anymore. You could say, because what I want hasn't come yet. And we say, but it's coming and it's up to you how long the gestation period is. Maybe the reason it hasn't fully manifested yet is because you're still in the process of creating. Maybe you're putting more pieces into the vortex, but usually that's not what it is. Usually all it is, all, it all, it all, it all, it all, it all.